Raider Nation, what's going on? So, first things first, it's really early in the morning for me. Uh, it's like 8.30, 9 o'clock. Big Tuna likes to sleep in. Um, so, sorry about the voice, sorry about the beard, everything. I apologize. Uh, secondly, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we appreciate every single one of you guys that check us out. Um... Do us a favor while you're watching. Remember to hit that like button. Remember to hit that subscribe button. Also comment below on your thoughts of this signing. And uh, overall Raiders off season. You know, looking pretty good, honestly. Um, also, we're almost close to 2,000. If we get 2,000 by July 31st, we'll give away uh, three prizes. Uh, gift cards, maybe jerseys. But uh, I'll let you guys know when that happens. Um, also, remember to check out uh, the East Coast Nation podcast that I'm part of with uh, the interview with uh, Steve the Wiz Wisniewski. It's a great interview, good questions, and uh, he's a really good guy. You know, nothing more to say about that except he's a Raider through and through no matter what. So, um, you know, the, the team doesn't sign Eli Apple, just couldn't agree to uh, the contract there. Now, I haven't done much reading on that. It just... You know, pretty much what I've seen is that both terms agreed on the contract and then something happened. I don't know if it was on Eli's side or on uh, the Raiders' side, but, you know, it is what it is. Eli Apple is no longer a Raider. But uh, the Raiders go out and sign a defensive back in Demarius Randall uh, in the middle of the night. I think it was like midnight or 1 o'clock Eastern time. Um... Yeah, so they bring in another defensive back. They bring in another safety. Uh, right now on the roster, at the top memory right now is, you know what I'm saying, but you've got Joyner, Abram, Heath, and Randall all considered safety. So will any of those guys move to defensive back? Um I could see Randall going back to defensive back. He did play defensive back. He did play cornerback. Uh, for the Packers for a little while, um, but you don't you don't know here. But right now we've got plenty of safeties. Uh, we got a little bit more depth to the defensive back position. Uh, you know, I mean, he was a first round pick at Arizona State by the Packers. Played a couple years there. Played a couple years in uh, Cleveland, and now he's here with us. Uh, Two hundred ninety tackles. 47 pass deflections, 14 interceptions, and uh, 2.5 sacks. So, not I like the 14 interceptions isn't bad through four or five years. Um, you know, it looks like the guy can play, the guy can tackle. Uh, it looks like he's averaging just under 60, uh, 60 tackles a year. He's at 290, he played five years, yeah. If it was four years, then he's... Just under 70, or just a little bit over 70, actually. So, um, you know, all that stuff being said, that's good. He can tackle, he can play, he does well against the pass. He can catch interceptions and all that, but, um, you know, I, I talked to Bradder uh, because he's a big Packers fan, and he said that, uh, okay player, horrible attitude. And that scares me a little bit because as he told me that, I kind of remember that he kind of forced his way out of Green Bay from his attitude standpoint. And to me, uh, that's not good for the locker room. But that was in the beginning of his career. Maybe he's changed. Uh, you know, even Bradder said that, um, you know, he doesn't know what he did in Cleveland. Attitude wise, but while he was in Green Bay, he had a bad attitude. And uh, yeah, that's not good for the locker room, but I'm guessing that John Gruden and Mike Mayock both did their homework on this situation, and I'm sure that he is fine. He will not be a problem to the locker room and or the, uh, you know, the team overall. So, you know, to me, I'm not upset about the signing. Uh, kind of wondering what they're going to do at cornerback. Um, we will see. Do they move one of these guys to cornerback? I still think that, well, no, because Joyner 
would be the nickelback if we could bring in um you know somebody that could play the position now if randall is going to play uh cornerback you've got mullins with randall as of right now you've got isaiah johnson possibly fighting for that position as well uh the position of where randall is you've got joiner as the nickel cornerback and you've got abram and heath maybe but the more and more I think about it, Raider Nation, is I think Isaiah Johnson is going to end up being uh, the number two cornerback. It's just from what I've read, everybody on the Raiders organization is super excited about the way he's been playing. And, like, he had a great year last year. Uh, he had a learning, there, you know, it was a learning experience for him, but he did everything the coaches wanted him to do. And uh, we'll see what happens because, you know, at, if Isaiah Johnson really is the guy they want, you've got Mullins on one side, Isaiah Johnson on the other, Joyner as your nickelback, um, and then you have Randall and Abram as your safeties. Not bad. So, maybe the Eli Apple thing, as much as I was upset about it from a, an ownership standpoint and a... Uh, you know, if the Raiders screwed this up, I was going to be like, just not good for the uh, for the Raiders' image going into Las Vegas. But, might be a good move here. So, I'm excited about it to see what they're going to do. Uh, like I said, the more and more I read about it, I think Isaiah Johnson is might be the answer as our second cornerback. So, we'll see what happens. Um, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Just remember to uh, subscribe, like, comment below on your thoughts of the uh, signing. Uh, remember to check out the East Coast Nation podcast uh, where me, myself, uh, Monster Mash Ken, and Easy e interview Steve the Wiz with his new ski. So we'll see you guys soon. Remember to keep those hands clean, practice social distancing, distancing, and as always, let's go Raiders.